Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's episode is a little out of sequence from what I, I would like to do, but there's a reason for that. And, and, and I'd like to explain uh, that to you now. Um, for those of you who have been following this, you, you know I, I own an FR1X. But if you've looked at any of my other videos, uh, you may have seen me using a, a different accordion. Um, right now, I actually own three different accordions. I have the FR1X, which obviously I enjoy playing and, and, and quote, playing around with, uh, you know, adding different things and, and changing some things. Um, I also have a, a Red Shadow Octavinelli. Uh, which is an acoustic accordion, which is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Um, I purchased that one from a, a company called Liberty Bellows in um, Philadelphia. And they're a great group to, to work with. Um, you know, they, they were very, very good in, in getting the accordion. And, and I can't speak highly enough of them. They're, they're very good, very knowledgeable. Um, you would have also seen that, uh, that I have a Roland FR8X, and that one I, I actually purchased from um, a company in, in Arizona, uh, Crown Music, which uh, has since, um, Dono, the owner, has retired, and, and so they are no longer in business, but uh, the person that actually did the sound sets for that is Dale Mathis, and I'll give him a shout out also. Uh, his new supplier is Kraft Music, I believe up in Wisconsin, and uh, so you should look those up. Uh, also, Dale's very knowledgeable and, and a great guy, so if you're looking to actually purchase any of the Rolands, the 1X, the 4X, or the 8X, I would suggest taking a look at, at what he has to offer. Uh, I want to explain why I'm sort of out of order. And, and the reason is I have to go in for back surgery. For those of you who are interested, uh, they want to do a laminectomy with fusion from L2 through S1. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. If you're curious, you can look it up. And if you've had it, Hopefully, you know, leave me a comment. How did you do with it? The problem is uh, the Roland FR8X is 30 pounds. Okay, my Octavinelli is like 25 pounds. I'm not going to be able to lift anything for at least four weeks over 15 pounds. So that means for a month, I can't touch an accordion. Um... That's pretty unacceptable. However, the FR1X weighs in at 14 pounds. So I will be able to use that. That's sort of the reason I kind of dusted it off and, and started working with it. You know, I purchased new batteries for it. And so I can actually play it and, and deal with it. So the bottom line is, if you go in for that, and, and if I get a chance, I'll actually maybe do a video uh, with that and see how that's going down the road. But the reason I started doing more with the 1X is because I'll actually be able to, to play that and, and get to something that I love doing that I won't be able to do with the other accordions. What I want to do today is show you how to download the expansion sets. Now, there are actually three expansion sets that, that you can get from Roland, all right? You kind of have to pick and choose because unfortunately, the FR1X only has room for two expansion sets. So you have to pick and choose. There's three, you can only use two. So one of them you're not gonna be able to use. Now, that being said, in a later video, We'll load a set and, and you'll see how that's done because you can save those, you know, those will be on your computer. You can put them on a flash drive and then you can load them as you wish. And 
you know, it just makes it for a very versatile little machine. What you have to do is you have to go out to the website, and I'll have a link down below. You know, you check down below, and you'll, you'll get the web page. You can copy and paste it in and, and that. Anyway, I know that's, that's been kind of a long introduction, and hopefully you saw earlier in the video where it said, you know, like and subscribe. So please like and subscribe to the video, and let's take a look at actually downloading these expansion sets. Okay, right now I'm sharing one of my computer screens with you and we're going to pull up a browser. Now, it doesn't matter what browser you use. So right now, there we are, we're my home screen on Google Chrome. You're going to go up and if you forget what this is, it's it's down below. I have the link down below. But you could also, you know, do a do a search, Google search for it and find it. But, you know, please make sure you're downloading the right items. Otherwise, you could end up having some problems. But anyway, go in and you type in the um, address. So you can see it's Roland Global Support FR1X Update in Drivers. Because there's other things out here. And I'm just going to go over them briefly to kind of help a little bit. So I, I also have to warn you, the, their site is a bit slow, okay? But there we are, the site comes up, we have all of those things, FR1X, okay? Uh, the first thing is FR1X system program. There's also, um, a set editor, which I'm hoping to do a video on. Uh, again, I have a sequence I want to go through, um, but I'd like to show you how you can actually edit the sounds. Once we're in here, we're going to come down and down at the bottom. And if you see, you just go down to the bottom of the page. But down here at the bottom, you have three expansion sets. The Alpine, is, is usually uh, the ones a lot of people like to use is the Alpine set because as, as you can read here, this is a sound expansion set that includes orchestral sounds and accordion sounds that are easy to use in such music as basically German folk songs. So you get a lot of things there because it's an Alpine set. You also have um, set three, which is orchestral sounds expansion. And this is a sound expansion set containing a variety of orchestral sounds. So those are usually the two, but you might want all three. So what you wanna do to get these is you're gonna click on them. Okay, you, you click, and as you can see up here, it's spinning, so it's trying to go to the set. Here we are at the Alpine. Now I'm going to suggest grab all three. You know, take all three of them, you can only use two at a time at most, uh, but I'd get all three. So, you know, you never know if you have them, you're going to be able to use them. So all you do, you can read the agreement. Uh, in no event shall role and corporation be liable to the end users for any damage that you may do to your computer or your accordion, um, blah, 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 standard um, license type thing. So you click agree and click download. Now, in my Chrome, you're going to see it up here. Boom, there it is. It has just downloaded the Alpine set. Now, if you go out, um, I have a downloads folder. It has downloaded the Alpine set. All right, so I'm going to go through. So I'm just going to click the back button. It'll take me back and I can get the other two. So I'll probably pause the video while I download the other two. And it, it's the exact same procedure. Okay, now you can see that I have actually downloaded all three sets. What do you do with them after that? Well, right now they're in something called a zip file. Little computer information here. A zip file simply uh, allows someone to compress or to make smaller the file size. So you don't have to worry anything about that. It's a zip file. Okay. 
Um, if you double click on it, it's going to come up and it's going to show you. You can't use it like that. You cannot use the zip file. You have to extract the zip file. So what you do when you double click on it, it comes up and here it says extract. We're going to extract all so we can see what is inside. So extract all. Okay, another little window comes up and says, where do you want to put it? I'm just going to keep it in that downloads folder for this demonstration. And you could do the same. But when you're done, what I suggest is creating a folder on your computer for your FR1X information and then taking and copying that to a USB drive for you. So you could when you want to use it. But anyway. And I'm going to leave this check to go ahead and show the file. So extract all. Boom. It has just extracted all of them. Now, here's what's in there. It's a folder, folder called Alpine. And let's take a look at that. And you know what? I'm going to show you if, if you don't have that. Okay. Um, if we just open this up and go to my downloads folder, you will see that I have uh, the zip files here. And here's the one that I just extracted is the, is the word there. I just extracted it. So let's see what's in there. Because you're going to have the same thing with all of them. And you don't need you know, to drill down into these. You can copy them and put these where you want them. But when you open it, They've given you the Alpine expansion set for all of them. Okay, the 1X, the 3X, the 4X, the 7X, and the 8X. Okay, we're looking for the FR1X. So this is the one we're really looking for right here, FR1X. If we open that one, and if you have any of the other accordions, you, you actually you know, have these also, but we're going to deal with the FR1X. Inside there, you're going to see, wow, some strange files. Okay. This guy, this BI3. BI3 is the file for um, the FR1X. That's the sound set for that one. Okay. These others are different files. Okay. You can't use, there's a little note um, in the user manual that you can't use these expansions without the user sets. So you need the user set to tell it which one to take. <clears throat> Excuse me. We can edit these, but you need a user set to be able to do anything. Now, if we, uh, you know, they give you a little Alpine expansion manual. There we go. Installation guide for the FR1X. Next video, I'm going to show you how to install an expansion set on the FR1X. Remember, you can only use two of the three at any one time, only two of the three. Hopefully you now understand how to go out to Roland's website, get the expansion sets that you want. And again, I recommend all three. You can always not use them, but then you'll have them. And, and are ready now to actually install them on your Roland. All right, enjoy and until next time.